Hey guys, happy Friday, happy weekend, whatever it is. <laughs> um, I hope you guys are all having a great start to your weekend. I have been so relaxed. I just put in eye drops, so it looks like I'm crying. Um, but I just woke up from a little nap. Me and Mocha took a little nap. And so now me and Alyssa are going to kick off the weekend by going to Target. I'm so excited. So um, we are just gonna have a nice chill evening, I think, and then see what happens the rest of the weekend. So uh, this is our first weekend together with her living here. I'm so excited. Look at these gorgeous flowers Patchology sent me. And on the card, it was so sweet. They like wrote the card to me, Alyssa, and Mocha, which I just think is the sweetest thing ever. And they sent us three bouquets of tulips. So this is like our main one that we have on our kitchen table that these ones are starting to bloom more because they've had better natural light but <laughs> it was just so so sweet of them and i have my book that i've been reading and i can't wait to read more of this this weekend um it's simone st james's newest book the book of cold cases and i'm only a little ways in but i'm already hooked and it's basically seems like a kind of everyday girl is going to be like solving this unsolved murder. She has like a blog where she like follows cold cases and works with people like just everyday people online to try to find new um like information about it and so now there's one in her town that has never really been solved that she's like getting involved in and it just seems really good so i can't wait to read a lot of this i hope this weekend i'm really really hoping for a relaxing weekend Oh my gosh, you guys, our cart is just plants galore. And it was more full than this, and we just culled it down because I had like 50,000 things. <laughs> and we got this drink. I don't even think they wrote on it, but Cookies it's. And cream? Yeah. Cold oh. Like mocha, mocha foam? foam and um white mocha in the cold brew so it was like a fancy thing oh, yes it was so good yeah. and i forgot my mask which i was like freaking out um but they have free ones at the front so our cart doesn't have a oh yeah what the heck <laughs> literally our cart is overflowing and we're not done yet <laughs> oh no Moki's waiting for her dinner. It's all right. Oh, she's so good. We're having our dinner too. I'm introducing Alyssa to Core Life. I got my typical salad, the Cobb salad. Add dried cranberries. Mm -hmm. And Alyssa made the most yet, intriguing. It's like Thai noodles in a wrap with spicy um, broccoli. Ginger, cucumber. Mm. Mm -hmm. Sounds so good. And then, like, spicy Thai chili sauce on the side. And Caitlin gave us these um, hard ciders that I had at her house one time, cherry pie from Stone and Key. So I can't wait to drink that and appreciate our gorgeous tulips while watching what is sure to be the most dramatic <laughs> reunion ever. Love is Blind season two. We got Mocha Cat toy and she loves it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Get him, <it>, okay? <laughs> <laughs> She's too good at it. She's a cat dog. <laughs> cat dog. <laughs> and we're halfway through the Love is Blind reunion, and it's uh, very interesting. <laughs> Monkey. Oh, the just saying the <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> the stick has like an extender. Monkey. Hey, you guys! It's Saturday afternoon already, and 
I just finally sat down to relax for a little bit and um, this morning I went over to my parents house because my mom and I are going on a pretty last minute trip to Las Vegas in April and the reason we're going is insane and amazing we are going to see bts the biggest k-pop group in the world in las vegas uh while they're there for like a week or so they have like i'm considering it kind of like a mini residency there it's probably not accurate to call it that but like they're doing shows only in las vegas for this period of time and it just was kind of a crazy random miracle that we got tickets um through one of my friends family members basically we just got super lucky that one of my friends family members bought tickets for the wrong day and so they needed to get rid of their tickets and get their money back and they offered them to us at face value which i am just so like in shock by honestly because um i'm sure people are reselling them for a lot of money and we didn't even have a chance to buy tickets apparently they sold out during like the fan club pre-sale so unless you're part of that club which we're not like you didn't even have a shot at getting them so we just feel so so blessed and lucky and it just happened all of a sudden and now we are going to Vegas next month <laughs> so um we were like we just wanted to talk everything out in person to make sure like we were on the same page of when we're flying out when we're coming home um the hotel the flights everything so we pretty much booked everything except for our flight but i think we're gonna do that tomorrow and yeah so it's kind of unbelievable and not something i expected to do this year like having a a trip to Vegas is something I look forward to whenever I get to do it and I've really wanted to go again this will be my third time in Vegas and my second time going with my mom and you might be wondering why Rachel's not going because she is the reason we're into BTS um, and we like offered for her to come with us because we only have two tickets to the show um, which that's just how many, many tickets my friend's family member bought. Um, but Rachel was really like, you guys are like super excited about it and I'm fine watching the live stream, which she bought tickets for that like a while ago. So she was just planning to watch the live stream all along and she was like, I don't really care about traveling right now and all that. So <laughs> me and my mom are going, we are super stoked. I can't wait to make like dinner reservations and oh, we just had so much fun the last time we when so it's just gonna be for a long weekend but it is going to be an absolute blast and i'm just so so excited to see bts in concert again because they were incredible the first time we saw them so i have been kind of like all like just like in planning mode and then i came back showered i'm doing my laundry and i'm just going to chill and read my book which i am loving so much i haven't made it very far um because i've only read a few chapters like every like day or so since i got it and now i'm going to have like a good chunk of time to just like sit and read and I'll probably fall asleep because I didn't sleep very well last night but um Alyssa and Mocha are at her parents house for a visit so just like super calm in here and I'm just gonna enjoy having like a, a little bit of relaxation time someone's coming to visit me hi okay <laughs> yeah I was just about to get in bed to read more of this book. I read a good deal of it um, this afternoon before I uh, took a really, really great nap. Um, and then me and Alyssa made dinner and we watched 
quite a few episodes of Money Heist. So um, now I'm just kind of chilling before going to bed. And my buddy came to snuggle with me. Monkey! Can I get under the covers? Are you gonna stake your claim first? Well, I guess I'm not pulling up the comforter, but that's fine. <laughs> hey guys, so obviously I just got out of the shower, but I wanted to show you some stuff, some like clothing and fashion that I've been picking up because I'm really in the market for like summer clothes um, because I'm going to Greece in July and now I'm going to Las Vegas in April so very warm climates and it's still like winter here in Pennsylvania but I've been just getting really really excited about summer and I've been striking out so much like I ordered a ton of stuff from Nordstrom and Nordstrom Rack um and pretty much all of it I've had to return, but I did find some gems that I definitely wanted to show you guys, and I still have more stuff coming in. I ordered some things from Target and Amazon as well, so when those come in, I'll definitely show you as well. But I've been looking for like sandals to wear um, for Chloe's wedding and I think I finally found the pair I really love. So these are super, super cool um, Vince Camuto little like sandal, I don't know what you would even call these, but basically they don't have like a strap on the back and I was really attracted to this heel. It's so like very like trendy but also reminds me a lot of like the 70s and I love this like puffy um I don't think it's actually leather um it might be I'm not sure but it's like that puffy type of look like that's been really popular as well like with the chanel 19 and stuff like that so i thought it was just such a cool shoe i love the light like creamish tan with the darker heel um and i wanted something a little funkier to be like i want more funky accessories um to go with my outfit because i'll show you my dress it's it could be very like formal kind of and her wedding's like gonna be outside and so I want my accessories to bring it back more like young modern and kind of beachy so I thought these like hit the nail on the head I absolutely love them and um, I would definitely say they're like pretty true to size I got size 8 which I'm between a seven and a half and an 8 and I usually do like to size up because I don't want my foot to be like smushed and these were um, $60 from Nordstrom Rack and I ordered them online so I'll link them below if they still have them and it has like the squared off toe which is also pretty trendy and I just loved those. I also ordered this pair of shoes but I don't know I think I'm gonna return them even though I love them. These are by Mark Fisher and they're a lot like just more of a basic like not really a fancy shoe but you could dress them up for sure and they have like the cream and the white like um, quilting kind of and kind of a gray it's really pretty um, but I got the eight in these as well and they're too like long in the toe area so I'm worried I'll trip basically I have a really high arch and so they were really kind of tight where my toes and just like everything was going through the strap and so then my toes couldn't really get <laughs> farther down on the shoe so I'm tempted to get the seven and a half and just see how that works. Um, I forget how much these were. 
Yeah, they don't say, but they are so pretty. They seem very like sturdy and high quality, but the sizing, I just feel like you need to try these on. Um, they're not as, I don't know. They're just a little trickier, I think, but I do love how these look. I feel like I would get a lot of wear out of them, but only if I could get my foot to like properly fit in it. So I'm probably gonna return those and then possibly order the smaller size, but I'm worried because if I order the smaller size, then it'll be even tighter, but then the front hopefully would be shorter, so. I don't know. I'm conflicted on those because I really do like them, but I don't know if it's worth the hassle to be honest. So those were the ones I was the second most impressed by, but they still probably are gonna be returned. Okay, this little dress I love. Alyssa found this for me at Target when we were shopping there, and um, I bought the one that they had, but then I ordered the next size up online. So this is my Wild Fable. It was $15, and it's like a kind of like a midi dress and then it has a really nice slit like up your thigh basically and then it has a cutout back um, which just makes it really fun and like more like casual slash young and stuff like that um, and I just thought this would be a really fun dress to have like for this summer and it was only $15 so I couldn't really say no um, but I did order the extra extra large this is the extra large and I'm like a pretty standard size like 14 I would say right now so um, I got the extra extra large and I think that'll be better because it is quite form-fitting um, but the extra extra large will just have more fabric to just feel a little more not as skin tight like this looked good but I would feel more comfortable with a little extra fabric um, so Wild Fable I feel like runs all over the place with their sizing like some stuff I can size like down some stuff I can get my true size and this I wanted to size up so I feel like you definitely need to try on different sizes um, and it is like a juniors brand so it's it's definitely probably not gonna run big a lot of the time. It's usually gonna run smaller. So I just love it. I love the color. It's so happy. And for $15, I just had to have it. I've also been looking for some shorts because I only have like two pairs of shorts I really like. And I found these at Nordstrom Rack online and they're made well. And they are so cute and comfortable. They're just like this kind of perfect lighter wash um, denim. And then they have these big pockets, which I think is so like unique and cool. And then they have real pockets on the back as well. And they're definitely like higher waisted, which is so important to me because I have a long torso and I just find that higher waisted pants and shorts and everything are just so much more comfortable anyway. So I love these. I ordered two sizes and actually the size like I sized down in one of them and those actually fit better. So I'm returning the 31s, I'm keeping the 30s and these were $45, which isn't bad for like shorts or made well specifically. So I'm returning this size to Nordstrom, but the other I'm keeping. And then for my dress for Chloe's wedding, I decided to get the same dress that I bought for Alyssa's brother's wedding, but in a different color. So this is by Reformation, and I think it's called the Lisa dress. And this is the maraschino cherry color, and it is beautiful. I need to get it dry clean before the wedding, but it's 100% cotton, which I love. The ruching on the top makes it super flattering, and if you have a bigger chest, it just like hugs you in all the right places and then um, like, I don't wanna say puffs out, but like goes out right under your bust at like your natural waist. And it is just so beautiful, so comfortable. It has pockets. Um, it's just, 
perfect and so I showed Chloe this because I was like I don't know if it's like grease enough like I wanted to get something more like beachy kind of and I feel like this is not very beachy but we agreed like if you like accessorize it more casual beachy it will like just you can like take it in a lot of different directions so I love this I think that it is going to be so comfortable well I know it's going to be so comfortable because I have the other one um and I just love it so much so that is going to be my dress and then um probably those first shoes that I showed you and then I'm gonna need to figure out like what earrings because I feel like a statement pair of earrings looks really good with like a strapless dress and yeah so that's my most recent like clothing acquisitions but I'm still <laughs> waiting for a lot more to come in so definitely stay tuned for like future vlogs. I just finished getting ready and I cannot get over this eyeshadow. This is the Shantakai um, giraffe palette and I literally just applied that super gorgeous like shimmery taupey purple color just all over with my fingers and it is breathtaking. I love it. I love how since it has like that shimmer to it it looks like I have a crease color even though it's literally just that eyeshadow um and just the way like your crease like has a different angle to it than your lid like it looks like different eyeshadows oh my god it is so stunning and I literally just applied it with my finger no um like sticky glitter glue or anything wow incredible um and i really need to do a like current beauty favorites video soon because i've been loving like just like a core group of products that i've been reaching for over and over and this is definitely one of them so i want to film that soon and um share it with you guys and i'm wearing mac blankety lipstick which i haven't worn in a really long time and it is perfect I hate like when I forget about such good products like just because I got newer stuff like this is a classic and it is still perfection so yeah this eyeshadow though wow <sighs> no words look at this place you guys Alyssa's been busy putting up like wall art and stuff we got a fiddle leaf fig tree and I love those three pictures. We got those at Marshall's. I'm showing them your artwork. And that balloon we got from one of our neighbors. They gave us this um, like flower arrangement. It's so cute. It was so nice of them. And I love this like grass or whatever that's in it. And our tulips are doing great. These ones are really like standing up. These ones I need to cut because like the vase is too short but they're still like they bloomed a lot so they look really good and i'm so excited Alyssa's brother um and his fiance are coming to visit us next weekend so they will be like and Alyssa's parents are coming over so it'll be like our first like kind of party thing so i'm super super stoked and we're going shopping tonight um it's not actually the weekend anymore it's tuesday <laughs> um but i just didn't film very much this weekend so i figured i would continue vlogging today when i felt like inspired and so we might pick up some stuff but yeah i'm just so excited i love having people over now i feel like i'm so much more social all of a sudden <laughs> but it's just so fun to have people like in our space and stuff so loving that and um Alyssa's taking mocha out right now but i want her to show you show you guys the front room because she literally did it all herself and so she should be the one showing it to you guys go mocha go Oh my god. 
Want to show the front room? Yeah. <laughs> Come this I'm way. So <laughs> oh my god, it looks so good. Mm -hmm. So Alyssa put up all the wall stuff. Oh my. <laughs> Our guard dog is here. So they saw all the furniture and stuff, but this week Alyssa did all the wall art and wall decor. Mm -hmm. And that little thing looks like Mocha. So <laughs> cute. Watching over the place. Yes. <laughs> exactly like the real Mocha. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and here we have cactus. And I love the rainbow. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, the cow is great. And these, this was our project last night. Like measuring, measuring yeah. And it's over like the little raw, wait, what is it? Live edge? Yeah. I always say it wrong. So yeah, we have like so much awesome stuff. Thanks to Alyssa. <laughs> Good job. I can't even think straight, you guys. I just finished watching The Bachelor with Alyssa. She is like super into The Bachelor. I like really have never watched it, um, but we started watching together when there was like four girls left and tonight was the fantasy suites. And the way this episode ended left me so like, <laughs> like crazed and just like full of like this like bottled up energy where I'm just like oh my god I have to like do something productive because I can't just like sit still right now so it's like 11 p.m and that's late for me on a work night to not be like in bed um but I'm in my office kind of like rearranging some things and mostly stuff that we bought at Target this week I also got this really really cool thing from Marshalls I don't know how well it'll come across but it's like this opalescent vase with kind of like cream colored and a little bit like darker brown like pompous grass or I don't know wheat grass I don't really know what it's called but it just is so magical looking I just loved it so I had to get that also I copied Alyssa because she has this in our front room but I loved it so much and this is at Target it's their um collaboration with Oh Happy Danny who I love on Instagram and so it says acknowledge yesterday make the most of today build a better tomorrow and I just thought that was a great like inspirational quote and I'm gonna leave it here in my office and beauty room just for like some like positive affirmation and stuff like that so really love this love the color scheme and how that looked i got so much random stuff i can't even like figure out what i'm gonna do with all of it yet but that's kind of what i do i like buy stuff and then like see where it works which is a bad thing but also a fun thing so that's kind of what i'm doing tonight just like kind of jerry-rigging things and seeing where things work where they don't and I always leave the tags on everything until I'm like fully decided because I can return them if they don't work out this is a two-tier swivel bath storage and this was just so intriguing to me um I couldn't like open it in the store so I really hope it's as cool as it seems because there was no like display and you just couldn't really tell what the deal was so let's see so basically this like top thing comes out and then you can access the bottom area so it goes both ways and then these open and you can access like either side okay interesting 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 i'm going to see like how this works on my bathroom vanity because i have a bunch of like odds and ends i don't really know what to do with um and i don't know if this will be the right solution but i've just never seen anything like this and it's very like compact um you could also put this in like a cabinet or anywhere so i'm gonna see what actually fits in here so i tried a few different configurations with this and it was more annoying than it was worth i feel like if you have 
certain products or a certain space this might be perfect but it just didn't really work for me so I just kind of have everything laid out here and I still am using a lot of my command products so I have that thing and then I move my towel bar over here because I got this at Marshall's I love it so much and it's just kind of like open bins and <laughs> my trash can but I loved how this looked so much and how it was like just very accessible and um, I'm gonna put like my body sprays and stuff in here I think but right now I just have my like lotions um, so yeah this didn't work out for me but um, I'll just return it and it will all be fine. I also got this vase and stem from Target and I love this so much. It's like kind of a distressed like textured um, vase and it had like marks on it that I feel like weren't supposed to be there so they gave me 20% off um, and then I just loved how this kind of like sparse stem looked in it like it's a pretty big vase and I feel like the stem balanced it really well so that I'm definitely keeping but I did get another size of it this is like oh this is heavy um this is like a smaller like shorter like fatter version basically of the same vase and I bought both because I didn't know what like would work and stuff but I'm gonna return this like more squat version because it just I don't really need it anywhere and it's pretty large like the um size around is really large like even bigger than this one and I just like the taller one more and they were I think between 25 and 30 dollars so I'm definitely going to return this and online I actually got this mirror and it won't do it justice because I don't have it hanging up but it's like a I don't know what kind of shape it is if it's like a hexagon or octagon or like something decagon even but um it obviously uh will come out of this container but it's like black and white like resin or something with a wood like border and then it's a mirror so I just love how it goes with like my color scheme in here um like the woods the black white everything so I think I'm going to hang it up on this wall or this wall I'm not sure because I also have this picture that I got at Marshall's that goes with the same color scheme and I love it it just it says it's just a phase so, um, and I just realized it should have an apostrophe, but, you know, we're moving on. It was only $15. So, <laughs> those are going to go somewhere over here. And then I got these things, which I'm trying to figure out how to, like, make work. They're, like, I think these are real I have no idea to be honest but they are a mess I just had to like um clean the floor after taking them out of the packaging but they were at my target like on clearance and I just love the color um it's kind of like a dusty mauve sort of shade and I just think it, they're so pretty um so right now I have them next to my big mirror because I have my other kind of like pompous grass stuff up there but I just don't really know so I'm trying to figure out where to put them before moving them too much because they make like they shed basically so I don't want to move it around too much but I also need to figure out how to like place them so they look right like I feel like I'm gonna need like vase filler or something because it just doesn't look right I don't know um like should I put them all together should I put them all separate let me see maybe this might work it's like any micro movement could change everything 
Okay, what about that? I don't know if I like them leaning up against the wall, but it might work. So I'm gonna mess around with that. I have like stems and vases everywhere, just trying to figure out what works where and all that good stuff. But I am going to head to bed if it's after midnight. I can't believe it. Um, but I was just feeling like in the zone and I didn't want to stop. So I'm going to call it a night, but I appreciate you guys watching as always and we'll see you very soon. Bye.